Thank you for purchasing the world's most popular business scanner. In this quick guide, I'll walk you through the easiest way to get you scanning via USB in Windows. We'll first install a driver, then depending on your needs, you can either begin scanning with your third-party software or install the inbox software that meets your needs with either simple push scanning or powerful batch scanning. Here's the installation flow. At a minimum, you'll need a driver. You can always use the DVD to install the basic software. However, I recommend downloading the latest software from our website. The URL is listed below. We're first going to install the Twain driver, which is the most common driver there is. It will most likely work with your software and all the software that comes with the scanner. There are a couple of other commercial drivers out there, which are much more uncommon than Twain. The first is Cofax VRS and the other is ISIS. You'll have to check with your third-party application provider to see what driver they require. There's a fourth driver out there called WAA, which is Windows Baseline Driver. However, I don't recommend using it as it will limit the functionality and features of your scanner. While waiting for the Twain driver to install, you might as well start unboxing your scanner. Once the Twain driver is installed, plug in both the USB cable and power cable, then turn the scanner on. If you're using third-party software, you should be just about ready to scan. All you'll need to do is run your software and select your driver. In your driver selection, you should see PaperStream IP. Make the selection and start scanning. Next, we're going to install PaperStream ClickScan. Now, this software is extremely easy to use and great for what we call ad hoc scanning. It should also work well with your software if you need to do some scanning that's outside of your normal workflows. We will download it in the same place that we found the Twain driver. And once it's installed, we will be able to scan immediately by just pushing the button on the scanner. Next, we're going to install our powerful batch scanning software, PaperStream Capture. You will be able to download it in the same place we downloaded the Twain driver, as well as ClickScan. You will need to input the serial number of the scanner due to license restrictions. This serial number can be found at the back of your scanner underneath the paper chute. Once downloaded, install the software as normal. Once you've run PaperStream Capture, you can scan with one of the pre-made profiles, such as black and white, or create your own. I'd like to say thank you for purchasing our scanner, and if you have any problems, feel free to contact our Technical Assistance Center.